Elias decided to draw Olaf, the snowman from Frozen. For this drawing, I used a pencil and an eraser. So we're going to start off by sketching Olaf's hair. Make a straight line and then make a cross like shape and make a smaller line just above the line we just drew. Next we're going to draw the bottom half of Olaf's face. First we're going to make a line straight towards the taller line and then bending towards the smaller line. So for the top of his head you want to draw a trapezium like shape on top of the shape we just drew. Next, I'm drawing his nose and his eyes. Just draw three small circles in the center of his face, kind of like a Mickey Mouse shape. As you can see, I'm drawing his eyebrows here, but I didn't like the way they look. So I'm changing them later on so you can leave this step out because I'm giving him other eyebrows later on. Next I'm drawing his mouth. And giving him his teeth. Next, I'm drawing three sticks sticking out of his head. For his body, you're gonna wanna draw an oval like shape. But you're gonna wanna make sure the left side is taller than the right side. For the bottom half of his body, I'm just drawing an oval. As you can see here, I'm drawing small rectangle kind of shapes underneath him for his feet. And now giving him his three buttons. And finally giving him his arms. Just draw two sticks sticking out of his body and give it three fingers and a thumb. As you can see here, I'm erasing the eyebrows I drew before. Good. I'm drawing them a little bit more facing upwards. So Olaf seems a bit more friendly and not as angry as, I, as he did before. Now I am using my fine liner. It's an O3, so it's like not too big or and not too small. And I'm just tracing everything that I drew before. The 
nail polish I'm wearing throughout this video is from Madame Glam and they have provided me with a coupon code so you can get 30% off every online order. The code is TRICON30 but I'll leave all the details in the description box below. And now just erasing everything. Now I'm grabbing a fine liner that's a bit thicker. And I'm just re-lining some of the stuff I did before. To make it look neat. And a bit nicer. When I'm finished with this, it's time for colorizing. I'm starting off by using just a black pencil and coloring in his buttons. And his mouth. I'm using this light shade of orange to color in the top half of his nose. And for the bottom half I'm using this darker shade of orange. For his arms, I'm using this dark brown. And finally, I'm using this gray pencil to give him some shadows. And then you're done. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.